Normally well, we don't find certain one and keep our uh, fans waiting on the line there. Uh, right. Thanks for everyone to uh, that are joining us on uh, podcastpittsburgh.com. Uh, my name is uh, Michael Fedor, and I guess we'll uh, get going here with a presentation. Uh, and it's called uh, Time to Play the Game. And, uh, and thank you for all uh, watching, and I want to thank uh, Podcast Pittsburgh people for this opportunity to uh, talk with all of you. And uh, I believe that uh, on the first day, they all gave you the basics of how to start one, but hardly anybody will suggest uh, what exactly should you provide as content. Like, they're always uh, great for giving you uh, ideas, this is how you start one. All right, you provide the content. Uh, this sec uh, segment of the uh, class would certainly want to uh, at least in give you some imagination and provide you with some you know, future ideas to uh, explore and uh, you know, do whatever you want to do with uh, with it, and uh, see how much the uh, video game industry uh, can provide you with that content. So uh, let me uh, uh, go into the introduction. My, my name is uh, Michael Fedor, and I've been a hockey blogger for uh, 12 years now. I, I write uh, the Confessions of a Hockey Fanatic. And uh, at the risk of sounding not humble, I, I'm the like, first uh, hockey blogger, uh, and I, I'm the first person to uh, quit, well, at least the first hockey blogger to quit the uh, podcast within the written uh, content and then uh, infuse uh, some uh, video, uh, YouTube videos into that written content as well. So I use those uh, audio and visual uh, as a uh, supplement to uh, the uh, written blog. So uh, and that's when I, I started in uh, 2006. I started a YouTube channel to uh, supplement that confessional hockey fan. You can find it uh, at uh, you know, Hockey Fan. And, uh, for those of you who aren't, aren't uh, sports uh, affiliated, uh, like I also uh, do the uh, Michael Fedor show, and uh, started that in 2010, and uh, made a whole bunch of uh, videos on, online. Uh, you know, of course, I'm not here to plug myself, but I just want to uh, establish that as my experience. I've also uh, been with uh, uh, radio and uh, state college, and uh, worked as a producer up there. And uh, I've also given a, a number of uh, uh, discussions uh, at uh, other comp, uh, pod camps. I believe it's uh, six and seven, uh, where uh, at uh, number six I was uh, talking about uh, the possibilities of uh, uh, doing video content, so where you're uh, uh, yourself as uh, multiple characters and uh, talking to uh, you know, split uh, uh, cameras and uh, stuff like that. Talking to a twin or having a conversation with yourself in a sense like that. I, uh, that I, from what I understand, this I checked uh, last night. Uh, uh, both uh, uh, other presentations are still up there at the uh, Pittsburgh Pop Camp website uh, and uh, YouTube channel. And I also uh, I did the hashtag 101, uh, talking all about the um, uh, hashtag and what it is, what it does, and. Uh, I can certainly uh, take advantage of that. Uh, I gained uh, uh, at least five to seven uh, new followers on Twitter just from uh, working the uh, uh, Flight Camp 9 uh, experience alone. So, uh, in this uh, discussion today, I want to uh, discuss about what uh, uh, live streaming is and uh, how it is used. And, uh, where uh, to uh, broadcast your uh, video game uh, uh, content. Uh, and I want to uh, talk a little bit about uh, who is uh, doing this uh, trend and uh, uh, taking advantage of it. Uh, there's certainly plenty of uh, money to be made. There's, uh, if you're, that's what you're into, where you just want to uh, share your hobbies with the world. Uh, uh, there are plenty of uh, people out there that have uh, lots of fans. Uh, and we're going to go on over a lot of, uh, well, not whole lot, but uh, we're going to add a lot of uh, new uh, vocabulary to the uh, internet. Uh, uh, we're going to uh, find out what uh, machinima is, and uh, talk about uh, uh, Rooster Teeth Productions uh, out there, is that uh, they've certainly have been, uh, taken advantage of uh, uh, video games and uh, video game technology and uh, built their company. 
and uh, we'll also cover uh, some of the uh, uh, do's and don'ts and uh, some things that if you do decide to use uh, the uh, uh, gaming systems uh, for uh, online content, uh, so some things to uh, watch for and some things to uh, be concerned about and protect yourself uh, as you go on to uh, producing your own content. So, uh, I, I uh, of course, I ripped this right from my uh, wiki itself, like that. So, uh, I, if anyone, does anyone out there uh, know what uh, live stream is? Anyone? Anyone done with live stream? Well, uh, live stream, I, instead of uh, watching uh, videos on YouTube where it's uh, on demand and, of course, it's pre recorded uh, messages, uh, live stream is uh, just like a uh, live broadcast through computer. Uh, I, I don't know, let's read this up here. An internet broadcast performance that is seen by an audience in real time through a computer or on uh, internet accessible devices. And uh, this is where we'll also uh, 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 cover it, uh, the latest uh, gen technology with the PlayStation and the Xbox One. Uh, they have certainly catered to the online community with uh, uh, the different apps and the different, uh, uh, the, uh, you can watch YouTube from your gaming system. It's uh, sort of like a synergistic uh, uh, type of uh, situation there going on with online content uh, streaming directly to your video game consoles. That's something that when I, I grew up with uh, the Atari 7800, all this new technology with uh, that they're doing, it's just, uh, I, it seems to be headed in this uh, direction. But, uh, its intended purpose is to present uh, content, either audio or visual, to supplement an already established blogging platform or product. So, uh, and uh, so, if uh, you want to uh, uh, interest your uh, uh, fans or uh, audience of uh, uh, some. Uh, live stream of your uh, video game play, like uh, there's certain things that will cover some uh, websites to go and uh, I tell you all how, how to do that. Uh, of course, you'll have to know what a stream key is, and uh, I wasn't able to find a uh, specific, uh, I, I'm hoping that somebody in my audience would be able to uh, better help me uh, uh, define this, but uh, uh, it's a, uh, uh, it's an encrypted, uh, Uh, address so that uh, you can send your uh, streaming to the uh, uh, website itself and uh, it doesn't get uh, interrupted. Is that like, um, just dropping in, but uh, is that like that little, like like the little token, like probably like, like I'm in Call of Duty on my Xbox and has, it says this goes to Twitch or YouTube, like it's, it's just like that, that's the, that's the address that makes the connection? Yes, okay. yes it does. Uh, okay. uh, and it's uh, you know, like encrypt my so uh, it's uh, that directly to the website. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to go through the uh, regular filters like a regular yeah, live podcast would be. Uh, and, uh, so, uh, and uh, I also mentioned that something about uh, machinima. And uh, machinima is a sort of an amalgamated uh, word. Uh, uh, it's like a machine-made cinema, uh, and uh, I guess it would I probably, you know, probably cover the whole uh, genre of uh, those people that like to uh, broadcast and the, uh, uh, you know, their video game content, so like uh, their uh, create uh, their yeah their own brand using someone else's brand, so to speak, like that. And that uh, that's a uh, one type of. Uh, innovation where uh, people are uh, recording their uh, gaming content, overdubbing some of their own, you know, right, uh, like, you know, video, audio, uh, and then uh, playing it uh, back and then uh, uh, doing that, uh, telling their own stories or, you know, filling in with uh, uh, whatever uh, that they want to show. Uh, uh, the other uh, content uh, that's uh, been uh, pretty prevalent uh, is something called the Let's Play, where it's not too I, like creative in a sense that it's not uh, uh, too heavy in it, like 
uh, written out, like planned and uh, uh, plotted and everything like that. It's so more or less just a, all right, this is, uh, uh, I'm going to go, go through and show you what it's like to uh, uh, solve this uh, thing. I'm going to show you how to kind of earn these uh, different uh, uh, trophies or, uh, uh, you know, or, count, or what's the Xbox one? Um, uh, the achievable yeah, achievements, achievements. Yeah, achievements like that. And, uh, a lot of people online now are, are doing the uh, uh, let's plays to uh, uh, sort of uh, serve as a guide. Like when I was little, we, we had those uh, magazines that kind of you know, explain to you, okay, if you want to maybe move on to the next level, here's a hint or so. Uh, you know, people now are showing, uh, all right, uh, this is how you, you can do it. You can see it live as it's happening. So uh, a let's play, uh, and oftentimes it's uh, written, uh, abbreviated uh, to just LP, a let's play, is a series of screenshots or recorded video documenting a playthrough of a video game, usually include commentary by the gamer. An LP differs from a walkthrough or strategy guide by focusing on, uh, on an individual subjective experience with the game, often with humorous, irrelevant, or even critical commentary from the gamer, rather than being an objective source of information on how to to progress through the end. So uh, that's also uh, uh, what I was hoping that I could present here to uh, the uh, PodCamp Pittsburgh tonight. Uh, people that uh, if you're looking for uh, something to supplement your uh, uh, podcast or uh, blog or something like that, or you're going to say you're running a uh, wrestling blog and uh, you start to get uh, some uh, you know, arguments with uh, some of the other personalities and uh, you want to uh, say, okay, can't really, we really don't know how to wrestle ourselves, but we can use uh, the uh, uh, wrestling video games to simulate what uh, it might happen. So uh, we're going to, uh, to uh, use the machinima type of effect, like I say, all right, now there's, there's uh, Mike walking down to the aisle, and I uh, comes one of the other thing, and, and they'll explain it to him, uh, well, uh, this is what it, if we were to wrestle, this is what it would look like. And, I believe that uh, machinima you know, the, uh, let's play uh, content can be uh, an, an additional supplement to your programming. Now, uh, let's look at uh, a couple of uh, those examples. And uh, of course, I got uh, uh, a couple of my other uh, friends. I asked them for permission. I'm going to show uh, some of them. They uh, put them up onto YouTube. And because uh, there's uh, you know, the two different styles that I uh, I showed you here. This is uh, my friend uh, Lauren. Uh, she lives out in uh, uh, southern England. And, and uh, whoops, uh, that's not good. Okay. Don't be panic. Don't be panic. Singer. She wants to uh, uh, write and produce her own music. Uh, she's got a lot of uh, uh, her own uh, uh, music up, but in, in between, uh, she is also inspired by some of the other uh, uh, video gamers and video game content out there. So uh, she put up this uh, example of a let's play, and this is uh, uh, what she has on her website. So, uh, Oh, nice. <laughs> Hello boys and girls, happy Thursday. Um, this is episode three of Don't Stop, enjoy. Okay, we're back. So, as you can get this going. Uh, uh, she's chosen to uh, focus uh, her content on you know, mostly, this is how I usually do it. Right, day two, I am on to but uh, she's uh, down here in the lower corner there. That was what I was going to do. I was going to do her playing. I'm going to grab that, grab that. Let's look on the map and see where I can go in. Come on, don't go off. I'm trying to do stuff. Sort of like a play-by-play through her. Run, little man, run. Just one there. Been down there. We need to go somewhere else. Maybe search this area? Or maybe up there? No, down there, down there. 
to a friend of mine who uh, I got uh, permission to uh, uh, show a little bit uh, as an example of uh, a, uh, broadcasting content for your blogs or uh, for uh, uh, YouTube content. And uh, it's, a pretty, it's getting to be a pretty uh, lucrative uh, uh, you know, video game industry where there's uh, so much uh, you know, content out there and so much potential for uh, bloggers and, uh, and just to uh, succeed. Uh, let me talk, even though uh, these uh, two uh, nice people, I, I want to again uh, say uh, thank you very much for uh, allowing me to show that uh, because I want to subscribe to them, please. There's, uh, I uh, will, uh, my friend Lauren, uh, I saw the spells her name up there, Lauren Claire, and uh, you can go ahead and just subscribe to them. But then even though they're uh, <coughs> um, more on the uh, smaller hand and just uh, growing their channels, I want to tell you a little bit uh, about uh, Rooster Teeth, a, a small uh, production company in Austin, Texas, who uh, just one little uh, video that caught on, they are now sitting at 7.9 million subscribers. And they, uh, and they built that, uh, built their ad revenue into a uh, uh, whole production company where they're now working with uh, uh, television, pr uh, producing uh, television game shows, they're uh, producing all kinds of uh, viewer kind of web content, and uh, recycle all that uh, gameplay. Now back into their uh, company, and they're uh, one of the uh, biggest uh, machine uh, companies out there right now. And uh, of course, I want to uh, say all they uh, did is they uh, took their love of gaming and they took the uh, Halo game uh, uh, back in the uh, place, uh, the uh, Xbox days. And uh, let me show you a little bit. Uh, get back here, of course, it's a pretty
well, all this was was that, that they were uh, just it was in their kind of the Halo game, and they kind of, I got it in kind of their uh, camera. I, 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 they, I showed how they kind of did one time that they they, uh, they did a uh, perspective from there. So actually, three soldiers standing there. Uh, the one you're, you're looking at the uh, point of view from the uh, camera soldier uh, take, going back and forth, like that. and then that's just them overdubbing. You know, the, uh, their voices aren't actually in the game per se. Like that. That they're just talking more about uh, that, and then they built the whole series around that. So, uh, all right. So then, uh, as I started uh, the introduction, though, I, I it's the uh, latest uh, uh, consoles like that may have made it so much easier to uh, live stream your uh, video game industry kind of your, uh, your content on the weather you might be playing. Like, I'll just uh, get this out here. I happen to be a PS4 owner at the moment, uh, and I brought my joystick with me. And uh, of course, we'll, I should show that here in a second. But uh, um, uh, now, uh, PS4 uh, doesn't need any additional equipment. It's already uh, hooked up to uh, uh, Twitch and Ustream. And all you need is just you know, a tap of the button and you're live. Uh, Xbox One, I think, is also hooked up with uh, uh, if you need an additional uh, package with uh, uh, convert the uh, audio feed into uh, your computer. And unfortunately, uh, Nintendo has gotten a little bit behind the times. Of course, uh, you know, I don't want to disparage them at all like that, but uh, this X is here for a reason. Uh, that I, Now, we'll get into, because when we get into the uh, do's and don'ts, uh, Nintendo, unfortunately, uh, does not like their uh, video content, uh, their gameplay Upload it to YouTube. So, uh, we, as soon as you load it up, <laughs> it, it'll be taken down just as quick, and you'll be taking uh, you're you're putting your channel uh, at risk by uh, putting up uh, uh, lots of plays and uh, uh, live uh, broadcasts of uh, Nintendo games. So that's what kind of uh, so the, uh, the two major uh, uh, platforms right now, either Xbox One or PS4, but uh, unfortunately, uh, Nintendo does not. Is there a reason for that? Hmm? Is there a reason why you think uh, Because they want to uh, sell the games. Uh -huh. they, they want to, uh, why yeah, should I you know, go out and spend money on you know, Nintendo when I can just you know, watch somebody else do it and then I uh, sort of like get uh, uh, spoilers from it like that. And uh, they also don't want to, uh, to you know, curtail some of the uh, uh, you know, critiques of their games. I don't know exactly. I'm, I'm speculating. That's not. Fine. I think it's also a philosophy thing. It sounds like um, like everybody else considers it a um, advertisement to have us on YouTube and have that community. And, and I think I think it sounds like Nintendo is just uh, whoever's in charge of their copyrights has been a little more overzealous and like has jumped on the YouTube uh, copyright strikes bandwagon. Um, and maybe I. You know, I think I feel like it's a department that's attached to the rest of it. You know, from from what I've read so far. Hopefully they come around. So yeah, I've been hearing hearing problems. I think they might come around. So all right, uh, and uh, uh, this is the uh, I want because for those of you who aren't uh, tech savvy or not video game savvy, uh, I just wanted to uh, uh, show you how easy I brought in my own uh, uh, PlayStation uh, uh, controller here that uh, they have uh, now uh, changed up so that. Right there is the uh, share button. Like that. And then I, I, one, I click to that. Once you begin your game, I can touch that button there. And it's already, uh, once you start up the game, of course, uh, and, and I log in all your information, create an account towards the I, I Twitch or Ustream. Uh, if you have one of those accounts, uh, you can already uh, be uh, uh, live streaming to that uh, website. Uh, well, and it's uh, just as they got simple. So if you not think it's uh, yeah, too difficult or too uh, complicated in the past, well, I, I like how uh, they just uh, had a button or two. Right, just 
one. So, uh, as I said, I mentioned that uh, Ustream, uh, like on Twitch, uh, I was also uh, uh, big on it. Uh, you can go to uh, iBlog TV. They are also uh, friendly to uh, live stream uh, um, users. Do uh, uh, you know of any other um, uh, websites that uh, uh, live stream Twitch? Maybe one I know. Um, YouTube live stream, I think, is very. YouTube started again. Yeah, with the way they do the live streams now, I think it's, it, it looks like it's pretty easy. Um, so we were playing with that a little bit when we were doing some 24-hour marathon stuff, and we were looking more into that ourselves. Um, yeah. But, uh, I mean, Twitch has a community. YouTube has the massive community. But then, yeah, like Nintendo problem with the copyrights or the mission within it. If you're looking to make money, you know, it doesn't help. So, yeah, I was just putting on get into kind of this, uh, the Twitch is that uh, uh, sitting again in another situation of how uh, we can uh, show you how uh, uh, serious and how, how lucrative this uh, video game industry can uh, combine with uh, online broadcasters. Google, the uh, giant uh, website Google, uh, wanted to buy out uh, Twitch for <coughs> the massive uh, according to a uh, article I read uh, in uh, Forbes magazine. Uh, this past summer, they were set to buy it for one billion dollars. That's a billion with a B. However, I, I, it was uh, back in May, and uh, it took them a couple months to uh, talk about it and uh, concerns uh, over again. Plot twist is that uh, uh, since uh, Google already owns YouTube, uh, and uh, if they would uh, have the, I guess the angle on that on uh, live uh, broadcasts on YouTube. Uh, owning Twitch, they would also have a, uh, uh, the uh, market on uh, live streaming uh, video games. Uh, they uh, sort of backed out. And Amazon.com uh, uh, bought uh, uh, Twitch for uh, 90, $970 million for the uh, Twitch website. So uh, you can find that. At, uh, of course, that's where I stream my games. And, uh, well, question. I don't know if you're getting into this part. Um, obviously, YouTube, you can monetize that with the ads. Does Twitch have a mechanism for that? Like, like I, I'm not familiar with Twitch TV. Uh, or I, I remember Justin TV, but. I think yeah. Twitch does have like, a subscriber rating for. Well, I know you can pay, like, as a user that's on either side, you can pay to, like, not get ads or something. But is there, like, a revenue share if you're a gamer streaming on it? Like if you're putting your stuff out on there, or is it just this is a place for me to put my stuff and that's it on part of the community? I think it's just for them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, like PewDiePie yeah. isn't on Twitch TV, yeah. he's not making money from it, right? Because yeah. he's making yeah. off of Google ads on YouTube. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, then I think it's concerned. Uh, yeah. I guess it depends on what you're getting into yeah. for. You're looking to be a PewDiePie, or are you looking just to be a part of the community, I guess? Yeah. Uh, Twitch also has an app that I have on my. Uh, I can see on my uh, notebook or phone like that that uh, you can afford time. You can you know, watch anybody else uh, at any time. Like if I always watch uh, people playing NHL 15, I can just you know, bring up the app, search for uh, people playing NHL 15, and uh, go through that uh, as well. And then uh, I, I, I haven't gotten any money from Twitch yet. Yeah. If anybody out there is watching, we we said the name a couple Wait, times. Are there any like legally options or anything? Like, or is it just uh, you stream it and that's it? Uh, yeah, like I, I've just been uh, yeah, hitting the uh, share button on the share uh, game yeah. console. Yeah. Like that. I, well, I, I get a couple you know, views at a time or so. Like yeah. that. I, I guess you kind of have, have to be playing for quite. I keep the stream going for you know, longer than like maybe three four hours to be a seriously you know, hardcore gamer to not be attract more attention. Um, and also with Twitch, again, I'm just not familiar with the service. Um, is it purely like high stream and, and that's the only time people can get it? But is it caching that like YouTube does that people can come uh, Yeah, they, what they're doing, uh, that uh, you can, they will hold it for 24 hours. Okay. Like, and, and then you can go back and you know, watch it. And then I think they, what they want to do is they don't want to you know, backlog a log library and you know, keep all this different uh, gameplay that, that you can. Uh, once you end the stream, like get them, uh, it'll you know, save you. Uh, like, I just, you know, download it to uh, your computer or uh, and, uh, you know, edit it on another uh, software program. So, so if I want to keep it and put a series that people subscribe to, I 
kind of still need to look at a YouTube or something to put the video, right? Yes, you get that channel like that. It's not they're not, they want they don't want to uh, you know, have a story. They just want to be the streamer, and that's it. It's interesting. Okay. And uh, since this is uh, still yeah, relatively new, uh, from what I read from the Forbes article, uh, it was like still you know, back in August or so. I don't know what uh, Amazon.com is going to you know, want to do with it. Uh, of course, there's going to be a lot of uh, different uh, changes. Maybe they'll want to send it in another kind of direction as well, I guess. So, uh, I think that's probably why that they don't want to house the thing, because uh, like if you know, Google was looking to buy that, then, they already have, you know, they want everybody to come back. Wouldn't it have been nice if you could, if you could buy it and you could stream on Twitch and it just goes on YouTube? Mm -hmm. Like, that would, have, uh, that would have been so great. Yeah, yeah. You know they would have done that, too. <laughs> I would have No. All right. So, uh, I guess we're, uh, that's pretty much it for my uh, presentation. Uh, I, uh, I guess maybe if we, uh, since we have about a little bit more time. It's, uh, I have made a video uh, in the, since I've shown some other uh, content with uh, some other <coughs> people that I knew. Uh, I'll go over to uh, and show one of my own uh, videos here just for giggles, <laughs> so to speak. And show you exactly what, what I've uh, done with And I uh, am really into, I'm really into hockey and really into uh, video gaming, and I, I have been collecting the uh, EA uh, video game series for uh, quite some time now. Uh, and I, it was uh, NHL uh, 14 that uh, was uh, I can I save clips, upload them to uh, my uh, uh, yeah. That's another thing too. But what's great about it, uh, uh, the uh, PlayStation is that I can uh, go uh, back in, cut up, <coughs> do all the editing yeah, within uh, the uh, thing like a yeah, like maybe a, no, a 10 to 13 second thing of like, oh look at this awesome play or just you know look at this not, not great catch at the wall I guess but yeah a 10 to 13 second long. Xbox did Xbox do a little bit of that too? Xbox, Xbox does that, but it's like like you said it's kind of more robust and more like. Yeah, like when you gotta like download an app or something. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Versus like 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 so like, like PlayStation just has it like in line, right? Yeah, like, they're they're in line. Line. everything like yeah. that. Yeah. And you can connect it to your Facebook account, mm -hmm. yeah. and then it'll go right to your Facebook. And then once that uploads, yeah, it'll you know, go right to your right Facebook. Account. And the only thing is with the Xbox One, and now that's one of the things. Uh, I think they are they're the only ones who stream directly on Twitch, or is that mm -hmm. something that's uh, I thought I play, I, I don't recall it, I thought PlayStation had the email Twitch thing, and Xbox had to wait for a Twitch app ah, okay. or something. Yeah. Do they have it by now? Uh, okay. Yeah, that's, I think they do. You know, from, uh, late in summer or something like that. They just, yeah. uh, that's, you know, listen to my uh, recent podcast, like I, I get a lot of the, you know, their kind of gaming news from yeah. So here's my, so this is what I, I, I did with, oh, and, oh sorry, I guess that. So as we close out uh, 2012, uh, I've noticed a lot of other uh, YouTubers and uh, some major networks and uh, everyone else uh, have been compiling uh, some uh, major uh, footage and major highlights in, of 2012. Now I've uh, pretty much uh, compiled the same, however we've never really had all that uh, much exciting hockey here in the uh, winter of 2012 season, so uh, I've been, well, 
uh, here in the Confessions of the Hockey Fanatic Studios, uh, uh, playing a lot of uh, EA Sports uh, NHL 13. Now, uh, let, okay, let's just get right to the footage. So here it is, the uh, top exciting plays that I've uh, uh, drawn up on uh, NHL 13. Playing, 
uh, it, it's run a whole lot of uh, like Angry Birds and all those other people that are making like a killing like, and all those um, uh, 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 the Candy Crush uh, people like that. They've you know, made uh, millions in just these simple little games. I think it's you know, with this you know, this technology and it's still in its infancy uh, stages. Like at your time. Uh, these simple little kind of games that uh, can still you know, make a ton of money. Have you tried like doing the Steam games for the time of year or is it more just focused on the... Uh... Uh, no, I, I have not tried. I've you know, heard a lot about Steam. I uh, like that. But I, I, I wanted to you know, focus my attention on the platform or you know, like, I, you know, I, I don't do any you know, gaming. Mm -hmm. I, Probably don't have space on my laptop. <laughs> like that. So, uh, and I also enjoyed the um, uh, the hard concrete. Like I own the, the game and, uh, itself. Mm -hmm. Like I don't I don't uh, foresee myself like purchasing mm -hmm. yeah you know, like it's it's like you're buying ether. Yeah. You know, like yeah. if you run it, I, you're I giving like there's it's still charging them the same amount for that uh, mm -hmm. uh, DVD or. Part not a game like this, and like that. So uh, I don't I foresee myself you know, streaming, uh, going from Steam or stuff like that. I, I wish them well. Yeah. I, I like it. if that's you know what other people do or how they want to enjoy like that, and they want to have the catalog of games and don't want to you know, have those you know, stack of uh, <laughs> uh, you know, big library of games like that. But you know when your uh, you know, thing crashes like that, you know, I can still. I have a backup. I can still reinstall everything like that. I have that concrete. Um, up until this point, like you mentioned Steam and everything, um, like you know, we've got like Guild Wars and like PC games, and it just seems to have been kind of a, a barrier of entry. You had to buy something, you had to get a software or yeah, something. Yeah, you had like to get one button push. But what do you think that's going to do to, or has been doing maybe to like the Twitch community, say? Now that so many people, anybody, like anybody off the street, can buy that PlayStation and have a button and they're broadcasting. What do you uh, do? You think uh, is that going to change the kind of people in the community uh, uh, to a certain level? I and mean, what are your what are your opinions on I that? Think or what you've seen? Yeah, like I've, I've, I think it's going to drown out a lot of uh, users. I think uh, I, the early adapters who have already gotten and the advantage of only uh, being like like. You get on the ground floor of a website, just open it up like that. You're you're just uh, you know, known for being there all the time. You're going to have all the subscribers like that. Then uh, if you're you know, kind of late to the game, you're not going to be seen because everyone else is going to be with the you know, internet stars like that. It's the same thing with YouTube. So, so nobody should yeah. expect to become foodie pie at this point. Uh, no, yeah, no. Like, they're just uh, anomalies that you know, they just lucked out to be at the right place at the right time. Your site you're doing this for. <laughs> My site. You guys, you're just rich right now. It's open. Thank you very much, Chuck. Uh, for it. Uh, so, I uh, see we still got the uh, yeah, bill. Uh, so, alright. So, uh, I guess I'll uh, end my discussion here. Uh, hopefully, we found it uh, somewhat informative. Uh, hopefully, I uh, tossed out a few uh, good ideas out there because there's certainly enough uh, games out there. To, you're running a you know, food blog out there. You want to maybe uh, live stream a you know, Candy Crush or Burger Time. Yeah, or, 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 <laughs> yeah exactly. You know, uh, Tapper. Yeah, want to, uh, yeah, want to uh, get get to thinking about uh, uh, you know, live stream uh, you know, video games and adding. It's just it, my discussion was just you know, adding more content to what you are already doing now. Mm -hmm. Like uh, it's supplementing. And growing, expanding, and providing new things for uh, your publication. And uh, uh, so, I want to uh, thank uh, uh, Podcast Pittsburgh once again. I think I'm so you know, thrilled that I'm not here and able to do this and uh, get up here and talk with and speak. And, uh, uh, you know, I thank uh, Lauren and uh, Angie and, uh, and uh, yeah.
What's that? It is lunchtime. Yeah, it's weird how the schedule is now. They, they cut off that like first hour. Yeah. Good time, man.